In this video, I'll show you how to manage documents within PS Suite and how to ensure that when you scan them in, they're labeled in a standardized way. So we'll begin by going to File and Manage Received Documents, and it'll go to the default um, specified folder for all of your incoming clinical documents. You can specify that by clicking the folder button and it'll remember where, where you have last selected it on your computer. So we'll just pick the first document here. And in order to actually see what's within that document, we click this arrow button and you can see that we can actually look at what this document contains. So we know that this is a mammogram, the patient is named female test, and it's from October 31st. It's worth noting also that this is a PDF document and documents um, that are in the format of uh, Microsoft Word, for example, won't be recognized and you won't be able to look at the preview. So make sure that the files are saved properly before you look at this area. Okay, so we're going to go up here and search for our patient. So I'll just enter test and click tab. Our patient pops up here. I'll double click on female test and we'll note that this is a report. So we checked already and we know that this report is from October 31st. So we'll just type that in there, click tab and it'll save. And here there are a list of different subcategories um, that PS has designated. Um, but if you're not sure which category in particular mammogram falls into, you can actually just leave it blank and type in here. So we're just going to type mammogram and you can see we find the actual name of the category. Now it's really important that when you label this document that we use this category so that every time we search for mammogram we know that it's spelled the same way. So we select mammogram, we click this arrow over here, and it's now listed as one of the report categories. You can search for multiple report categories and um, enter them in, which might be helpful if the document for example, has both a mammogram and a breast ultrasound. So now that we have all of the information that we need here, we can save it into that patient's 